Hello, my name is Andrew Carrick and I am a research assistant at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Uh, the title of this demo is uh, Pulse Transit Time Measurement on a Modifying, bathroom, a modifying Weighing Scale for uh, Cuffless Blood Pressure Measurement. Uh, so traditional blood pressure measurements use, utilizes a cuff. Uh, however, those can be uh, obtrusive, inconvenient, and uh, can vary between uh, 15 to 20 millimeters, millimeters of mercury. Uh, so the goal of this project is to develop a um, at-home bathroom scale uh, that can be used to uh, give a person uh, a, a convenient blood pressure measurement through the use of pulse transit time, or PTT. Uh, so PTT is the time interval of a pulse wave as it travels from a uh, proximal to a distal site, um, and has been proven to be inversely related uh, to blood pressure. Uh, so for the more proximal timing reference, uh, we utilize a measurement called blistocardiogram, or BCG. Um, so BCG is the reaction force uh, of cardiac ejection as blood enters uh, the aorta. Um, and as a distal timing reference, we utilize a optic sensor um, called photoplasmogram, or PPG. Um, so our system actually uses an array of these PPG sensors um, and then classifies those set sensors to uh, give a high quality uh, distal pulse measurement. Um, and so our previous work, um, we have proven that this BCG signal um, is a good proximal timing reference uh, in our PTT measurement. Um, and that furthermore, we have proven that this P the, the uh, BCG, along with the PPG signal, uh, is able to give a um, PTT uh, measurement that is closely related to mean arterial pressure. And now we're going to uh, show the, the scale and how it works. So here's the current version uh, of our system. Um, as you can see, there's a foot strap over the dorsum of the foot. Um, that incorporates an array of PPG sensors. Um, so that gives you the distal timing reference. And the scale um, has strain gauges, which along with the analog front end, um, gives you that proximal timing reference. So right now, um, we have the system recording both the BCG and the PVG. Um, so the signals on the top is, represents the BCG, um, and the one on the bottom is the PPG. Okay, so the BCG waveform um, is indicated in right here. Um, so it composes of an I, J, wave, K wave. Um, so we've proven that this I wave uh, actually represents that cardiac ejection of blood. Um, so we use that as the more proximal timing. Um, so we've moved the cursor right over it. And the, with the PBG, uh, the foot of the PBG, which is the uh, initial onset of this pulse wave um, represents the, uh, that more distal timing reference. Uh, and by taking these two measurements, um, we calculate a uh, pulse transit time of 0 0.14, 124 uh, seconds, which correlates to a mean arterial pressure of uh, 109. So I guess the, the goal of this project is ultimately just to be able to give a person an easy way to uh, continuously monitor day to by day their blood pressure. Um, so future works include making this more of a wearable, uh, more convenient to use, uh, and such. Uh, thanks for your time and thanks for watching.